Hey guys, so I'm going to go over the worksheet that's due today, and then I'm going to teach a little bit about um, Bronsted Lowry acid theory, the next uh, theory um, about acids and bases, and that worksheet's going to be due tomorrow. So this was the, uh, the back, we'll call it, of the worksheet that was due today, and the front was here. Um, so let me go over this, and then I will briefly explain Bronsted Lowry. Um, and I will show you, so this is going to be posted today at 9 a.m. It's 8.36 right now. So there's a video here, three minutes. It's worth watching to help understand the theory. Then you got the worksheet and the attached doc if you want to put the answers on there um, or however you want to do it. But that video will help and this video will help. All right, here we go. So the homework due today. So uh, first of all, we have... Um, the acid base theory that Arrhenius said. And what, what did Arrhenius say? So Arrhenius said, if you have an acid like HCl, when you put it in water, it will dissociate, break apart into these two ions. Aqueous means it's in water. And Arrhenius said, if an acid releases or produces H plus ions, then it's that's that's it. That, that makes it an acid. Um, so this is called a hydrogen ion. It's also called an H plus ion. It's also called a proton. I'm going to talk about that today. Bronsted Lowry uses that word more. But if a substance releases H pluses, it's an acid. If a substance releases OH minus, then it is a base. Again, it has to be in solution, right? So that's water. So really, water is involved here. Okay, this means oops, that this is a base, pH greater than 7. This means this is an acid, pH less than 7. Okay, so that was the, the gist of, of yesterday. Um, and the homework here is showing that. You have HCl, H plus CO minus, HNO3, H plus NO3 minus. You have HCN, H plus CN minus. So, again, these three ions mean... It's the same ion, but these three um, acids are all called acids because they release H pluses. All right. So now we go to, sorry, questions. All right. This transparency shows Arrhenius theory um, explaining what happens when acids are, what change is illustrated in all three diagrams. So we would write H plus ions produced. That's what I would write or released. Chemical equation for all three. So all we're doing here is dissociating, breaking these apart. H plus plus Cl minus. H plus plus NO3 minus. H plus plus Cn minus. And it, in this scenario here, um, in what way do the strength first to ask? So HCl and HNO3 are strong acids. HCn is weak. It has a lot to do with acid ionization constants, stuff we get into in, in uh, AP Chem, not region. So, but HCl and HNO3 are strong acids because they dissociate 100%, whereas this does not. So what that means is HCN doesn't produce as many H pluses. So if I had one mole of each of these, um, these two would produce one mole of H pluses. This one would not. It would produce maybe 5% of that, something like that, between 5 and 10%. So anyways, that's a P, uh, AP stuff, whatever. Two names, H plus ion. So H, H plus ion is one name. Hydrogen ion is another. And then a proton. That's the key here. We're going to focus today. Proton is another. So those are three names, H plus ion, hydrogen ion, proton. Arrhenius theory to define an acid, any substance when dissolved in H2O produces H plus oops, ions. Um, six. All right. This dissociates Na plus plus OH minus. That's the dissociation, and that, again, that makes it a base. And seven, I'm just going to read out loud. Um, a, a base is same as this. Any substance, when dissolved, this is a V, <laughs> dissolved in water, produces H plus, 
produces OH minus. So the difference here, OH ions produced. So any compound, any substance in water that produces OH minus ions, that's a base. Okay, so there's that. All right, now the Bronsted Lowry theory. I'm going to do this quick, and then hopefully you can watch this, and then also um, watch the other video I attached to the assignment. Okay, so Bronsted Lowry. All right, first of all, they call H plus ions protons, and here's why H. One over one, this should ring a bell. Mass on top, atomic number on the bottom. Hydrogen atom has one proton, one, oops, not neutron, one electron, and zero neutrons. One minus one, zero neutrons, and no one cares about that. So a hydrogen atom has one proton, one electron, right? So you have a positive nucleus, then you have a negative electron buzzing around outside on the first energy level. So just one electron. So if that hydrogen loses this one electron, it loses it, it becomes H plus one. One over one, those still stay the same. It doesn't have a proton, or it doesn't have an electron, doesn't have a neutron. So H plus ions only have one proton in the nucleus. There's nothing else. So an H plus ion is a proton. So that's that's the first thing to, to grasp. Okay, so what said lowry said, is acids donate protons in water. Bases donate, geez, sorry, I'm trying to go quick to make this short. Uh, bases accept protons in water. So accept and donate, it's like playing catch. Acids get rid of the H plus, bases accept them. I'm going to give you two examples. In both examples, water is involved. If I take hydrochloric acid, it's on table K, and I put it in water, here's what happens. It actually forms what's called H3O plus ion, which is called a hydronium ion, and Cl minus. I'm going to leave that alone for a second. I'll come back to that. Okay. If I put a base in water, NaOH. No, 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 no. Not NaOH, sorry. I'm going to use NH3. NH3, if I put that in water, what that actually forms is NH4 plus NOH minus. So... Um, what I'm trying to show you here is according to the Bronsted-Lowry theory, HCl is an acid and NH3 is a base, which we already know. I'm going to do this quick here. Here's why we already know that. Table K and L. Here we go. Table K. There's HCl. Table L. NH3. Now, NH3 is a Bronsted Lowry base, not an Arrhenius base, because Arrhenius says it has to have an OH minus. It doesn't have one. That I'll talk more in class tomorrow. Um, come back to this. So, here's the, the definition, right? Acids donate proton. What's a proton? H plus. Bases accept proton. What's a proton? An H plus. So, here, look at this. Look at the products over here. If HCl gets rid of that H plus, now it's only a Cl minus. Well, where did that H plus go? Water gobbled it up. Water turned into H3O plus. So this H plus ion actually went over here. So the act of HCl donating that proton makes it an acid. And water, receiving, accepting, catching, taking, whatever word you want to use, it accepts that H plus. By definition, water is acting like a base. The products are the result of that H plus being transferred. So now water gained the H plus, it's H3O plus one, and Cl minus is now by itself. Down here, it's the same exact concept, except here, the water is acting like the acid. Why? Look at the products. NH4 plus. Well, where'd that come from? What happened was one of these H pluses 
came over here and were, was donated to the NH3. So the NH3 accepted that H+, plus. NH3 plus, NH plus is NH4, NH4 plus one, because it gained a positive charge. So NH3 accepted that H+, plus, making it a base. H2O donated that H+, plus, making it an acid. These two products are the result of that transfer. And that's as simple and as basic as I can show you an example of Bronsted Lowry theory. So if you watch this and that other video, you should be fine on the worksheet. I'm going to go over it tomorrow anyway in class and kind of reteach this again. Because the one thing I'll lead you, leave you with, which I didn't explain here, is that now these products can do the same thing and go backward, right? It's reversible. You see these arrows? I will show you very quickly. So now on this side, H3O plus will donate that H plus back to Cl minus to go back to the original reactants. And the same thing here. NH4 plus can give that H plus back. And now we're going to make water and NH3. So it can, it can go back and forth. And I know that's confusing. So I'm not too worried about that right now. But that's the Bronsted Lowry theory. So one more time HCl donates the H plus, H2O accepts it. Therefore, by definition, Water is acting like a base, accepting the H+. HCl is acting like an acid by donating it. Down here, water is doing the opposite. It is donating that H+, thereby making it an acid. And H3 is accepting that H+, thereby making it a base. So that's the Bronsted-Lowry theory. And I will see you guys tomorrow.